Hello guys, welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be doing Build a Boat for Treasure. And, uh, so we are only going to be doing two videos this weekend instead of three, uh, if you saw the last video for Islands. Uh, and that is because, um, the third video that I was going to make was for, was a request, but, uh, I don't think I really need to make that anymore because there, well, yeah, it, it's a pretty simple thing, so I just you know, gave him a video, it, yeah, yeah, okay, well, uh, enough talking about that, let's actually do this, so, this is basically a repeat of the islands tutorial, because all we are doing is making it so, um, this, right here, oops, wait, wait, no, why was I clicking on wood, okay, we're, we are gonna make it so that, uh, this thing right here, this number, like 1x, actually has a meaning. Yes, I know. That, it's so cool. It actually has a meaning. But yeah, let's get right into this. So, the first thing that we're going to do is go into here. And we, like, into... Uh, just go into the first one you uh, find in, like, the first... Uh, I'm just going to make this visible so you can see it better so just go into the first one you find so like this one or this one doesn't really matter you can what if you have like a ton you can just go into the first one you see doesn't really matter okay so we're going to add a int value and call this int amount because we have a text amount but we want int amount an integer is like basically a number Except it's a whole number. Yeah, I know. So cool. But, um, let's just set this to 10 for now. And let's also just set amount to 10. You don't really have to do this, but I just want to. Because in the next few tutorials, we are going to be, um, making it so that it actually saves. And yes, uh, it is going to take a little bit longer for me to figure out how to fix the rotating glitch because, yeah, it's just weird. But uh, now that you have that, you can uh, right-click on int amount and copy it. And then for every single uh, item that you have, and you can, uh, like, you can control-click it. So um, for every uh, other item that you have, you just want to right-click it and click paste into and that'll just copy everything. It'll just copy into mount into it. Then I'm also just going to change amount again to 10x. Okay. So now let's actually make it so that it changes when into mount changes. So we're just going to say script.parent dot into mount dot changed connect. Oh, I, that's not how you spell connect. Connect function. Oh, okay. So in this. Uh, all you want to do is change um, the or this thing right here, the text amount. So how we're going to do that is we're going to get the text amount by saying script dot parent dot amount dot text is equal to, and then this is going to be this is going to have to be a string. So we're going to do two string, and then we're going to say it. So two string um, script dot parent dot int amount dot value and then we are gonna con concatenate I, I i never know how to say that word uh con yeah i think it's concatenate I, don't, I always forget how to say that but uh it's just these two dots right here and then we're just gonna add on x because it always makes it look better when you add on x to the number like how i have it right here 10x but yeah, you just need to concatenate it. I think that's how you say it. Please don't roast me. Okay. But um, I'm just going to copy this and put it in all of these. Or this one because there's only one. But uh, why did I click control S? Okay. So um, now that we have that all working, uh, we actually need to make this so that it changes. And the, to do this, we're going to go into build. Actually, yeah, it's in, let's do it in script. So we're going to do this after we, uh, like, do, like, after everything here, basically. I'm just going to do after this if statement. So, like, right in here, I'm going to say, uh, 
my elbow. Okay. Player dot player G oh that's not how you spell player GUI. Player GUI dot build dot scrolling frame dot uh, uh not dot uh find first child and I'll explain this later. Um block dot name dot uh, lock dot name dot into mount. I already forgot the name. Dot value minus equals one. Okay, so what this does is it gets the current the player that placed the block, and then it goes into its player GUI, and that is basically a uh, starter GUI, but it's not the starter; it's the players. So like it'll have a list of all these, but we want build. So it'll go into this, and then we want the scrolling frame, which will be this. And then we're gonna get the, uh, um, this text, uh, this text thing that has the right name, or that has the block's name. So in this case, we're probably gonna be using wood. So it'll go into wood, and then it gets the intimount right here, it gets the intimount. So we're gonna go into intimount, and it gets the value. Then it says minus equals one, so that'll just, make it nine if it's 10. Okay. So also that, that's probably confusing. Not nine. If it's 10, uh, it'll just minus one from the value. So, uh, now in the local script, I didn't copy that. Don't worry. I don't know why I highlighted it. Okay. But, um, now let's go into the local script and, uh, well, what am I doing? Uh, we are going to make it so that if you have uh, zero or less than zero uh, amount of blocks, then it will not run. So we're going to do this by saying player dot player GUI dot build dot scrolling frame find first child object dot name oops dot int amount dot value is wait I didn't put an if you have to put an if in front of your if is greater than zero then it will run and you guys I, I literally just explained this uh, what all this means it's the exact same thing as uh, in here it's the exact same thing except block is uh, object because just I don't know why I just did that they're basically, they're the same thing, it's just, I don't know, I just named them differently. <sighs> I don't know, sometimes. But, uh, yeah. So, that should be the quickest video that I've ever done, because this should be working. Build, place, it's nine. Brick, place, it's nine. It goes down. This one goes, oh, I didn't click wood. This one goes down, and then it stops when it's at zero. Whoa, so close, so cool. And you can hear this clicking. And it's not doing anything. That's great, because it's at zero. If you see that it says zero right here, zero. But, uh, yeah, what we're probably going to do next, or in the next video, is make it so that it actually saves, because it used to be at zero, but now it's at ten. And probably before that, I'm going to make so that you save a plot because that wouldn't make any sense if you just lost your blocks randomly whenever you played. That would just be annoying. So I'm going to make a save plot system probably. Maybe probably. Maybe probably. But uh, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.